Hi, what's going on, family? Scrapbook Box and Museum of the Forgotten Fistic Series. This is part two of Muhammad Ali. And here you have Muhammad Ali celebrating with Bundini Brown and Angelo Dundee after his seven round victory over the ugly bear, Sonny Liston. This was at the convention center in Miami Beach, Florida. Outstanding moment in boxing history. 22-year-old Muhammad Ali will become heavyweight champion of the world. As you can see here, Cassius Clay versus Sonny Liston, Miami Beach, Florida, February 25, 1964. Winner, Clay by TKO in seven rounds. Now when you look at Muhammad Ali, he didn't have that many fights going into that heavyweight championship bout. As you see, Cassius Clay, 1960, National AAU Light Heavyweight Champion, 1960 National Golden Glove Heavyweight Champion, Olympic Games Light Heavyweight Championship. This is all in 1960. 1964 Heavyweight Champion of the World. So between 60 and 64, he would win this title. And these are fighters he fought at that time. All victories. Alonzo Johnson, Ali Mitfitz. 62, Sonny Banks, Don Warner, Archie Moore, November 15th of that year, 62. 63, Charlie Powell, Doug Jones, Henry Cooper. And then he would get his shot in 64 on February 25th with Sonny Liston. He had 20 bouts, 16 knockouts, four decisions, and he didn't lose any fights. And here you have that fight, Cassius Clay versus Sonny Liston. Fascinating. Now Clay at the time was 22 years old. He weighed 205 pounds. He stood 6 foot 3 inches. and had a 79 inch reach. He was born January 17, 1942 in Louisville, Kentucky. Charles Sonny Liston was born May 8, 1934, in Pine Buffalo, Arkansas. He was 29 years old at the time of that fight. He weighed 220 pounds and stood 6 foot 1 inch and had an 84 inch reach. So you can see Muhammad Ali had a 2 inch reach over Sonny Liston. It's fascinating. And before that fight in 64, Ali was going nuts at the doctor's review. And his, he, was, he was just going crazy. And his pressure went up so high that he had to go to a hospital to get evaluated. Fascinating night. Sonny Liston, the ugly bear. He was a very good heavyweight. They just want you to have bullies and terminators. Once they are, once they become intimidated, they have nothing left. And that's the issue when you have bullies. That's why you have to stand up to a bully. If he beats you up, he beats you up. But you got to stand up to him. He has nothing else to fall back on. And 90% of the time, if you give a bully attitude, if you give him smoke, you would deflate him. Because that's why he's a bully in the first place. He doesn't have character. It's a facade. He's covering up the tough guy attitude or what's hurting on the inside. Here you have Walcott. Jersey Joe Walcott sending Muhammad Ali to a neutral corner. This is in 1965. And you have Liston on the floor, waiting for the count, waiting for this to be over. Here you have Muhammad Ali and Ernie Terrell. 
asking him what's his name. Boy, I tell you, he gave Ronnie Terrell a beating in that fight. And tonight, Muhammad Ali would be the second man to regain his heavyweight championship against the mummy, George Foreman. Here you have Muhammad Ali is smoking Joe Frazier. Tail of the tape of that fight. Ali was 29, Joe Frazier was 27. Ali was 215 pounds, 6 foot 3, had an 82 inch reach. Frazier was 27, as I said, he weighed 205 pounds, stood 5 foot 11 and a half inches. Now the 73 and a half inch reach. between rounds of that smoking Joe Frazier in Muhammad Ali fight 1971. Fascinating night of boxing. Arthur McCanty, third man in the ring. March 8th, 1971. Madison Square Garden, fascinating fight. Thriller in Manila. Fascinating fight. So this is Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I just wanted to salute Muhammad Ali. Perhaps the greatest heavyweight champion of all times. Smoking Joe Frazier, dancing partner. Ali wouldn't be able to show his skills without Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier was an awesome fighter. No problem today. The only problem he would have is his height. And um, I think the heavyweights are a little too heavy, a little too big for him today. But nobody had greater heart than smoking Joe Frazier. So salute to Joe Frazier. Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. One love to my entire subscribers and those who watch my channel. Peace. A salute to Dawkins P. Loves Dawkins P. Salute to that brother. Salute to his channel.